Okay, part two of the tutorial. Now we have to work on the body before we merge our head in. So we have to clean the body. So what we're doing, what we'll be doing is exact opposite of what we did in the last part. Last part, we save the head, we delete everything else. Now we delete just the head and save everything else. So first, let's just show the vertices and the material and hide everything else, hide the bones, hide everything else. So now, so this is why I wanted it to, to be displayed this way. Because for example, new one, new new two. I don't know what these are, so I have to I have to you know, show them. Okay, now I know new is stockings, new is feet, and now I know these don't need to be uh, deleted. Let's see, face, face, new, new. These like everything here is in the eye region. So, yep. Uh, what's material one? Pants. Okay, let's leave that. So I would. Be deleting from 24 all the way up to 5. 5, 24. So with these gone, display. Good. Now I have just the body and no head. So this is material type is done. Let's go to on to bones. Um, for the tutorial, I'm just not going to bother. But when you're working on your own, I strongly recommend you to like take your time and rename these textures uh, these materials so when you're shading them they the names won't give you trouble now bones so let's hide the vertices show the bones now i would have to delete all the hair and everything that's like that affects the face just in case there's any misalignment between the face bones of this model and the face bone of the head i'm going to merge in so let's select a few hairs and okay it leads us here so these are all hair I, I can see from that these are all hair so okay top here these are also hairs so i can uh yep this is also hair so i can select from here all the way down to what's that uh okay these are the hairs by and select these okay so these are also hairs what's this oh no these can't be deleted these are earrings i don't we don't need them so from here up to let's think here yes these are the hairs bye and was that's what i was talking uh, what i was talking about everything that's above the head level these bones we don't need them this one bye Good. So now we have the head bone, the neck bone, and nothing above it. These are kind of messy, but that's. Uh, I think I can delete the, these. Like I don't think there's any use for these. Yeah, let's just go ahead and buy. Okay, that looks cleaner. Morph, right? So these are empty morphs. You see a morph here. You see a morph here. There's nothing here, so these can be deleted. Same with all these. Uh, yeah, there's nothing left. Everything gone. Display plane. Oh, oh my god, 2.30? Anyways, gone. Expression, good. It's empty. Uh, let's just say, delete everything and I can add those in myself. IK, ouch. That well, looks roughly in place. Um, okay, these 855 whatever. Okay. okay, that looks sort of fine. Let that in. Okay. Ah, uh, bye bye. I think. Yeah, all these can go. No, okay, now we're done done with display pane. Let's move on to the body. Right, so this is what I was talking about before the refresh. So let's select body here, display the body, and that to select the body and let's unclick that so it's a lot less, you know like arrow uh, lines everywhere. Oh my god, what's those? Okay. So first these are like I don't know why they're there, but why? 
we don't need you. Um, these we also don't need. And then, so once you may change the, this list, for example, you add a more, uh, you add a body, the list is going to be refreshed. So now, if you see anything that's without a, a bone, you can just delete those. So all, all the hair bodies are gone. Start from here. Goodbye. Okay, we should be set here. And then go to the joints again. Add something to refresh the list. So hair. Again, here, all the way down to here. Um, yeah, the join I added to refresh the list. And now, PMX info. Verify, go down. So this is saying uh, joint names overlap. So let's see here. Oh, they have two sets of chest joints and they overlap. But it doesn't matter, it won't cause your. Um, MD to crash if you load that in, but just because reasons, I'm still going to delete one set because OCD or whatever. Let's see. Oh, yeah, they only have one set of chest bone, uh, chest body, but we know they have two sets of chest body. Oh, okay, I'm just going to keep the first set and delete the second set. Second set and that, okay. Now this set corresponds to that, and the new check body, right, there's only one set of chests. No, this model originally had three sets of chests, oh my god, again. Now good, we're only left with one set of chest bones. Let's check again, okay, everything in join is good. The bodies are overlapping, but I don't think that's that big of a deal. The overlap stops starts at 20, goes all the way up to 50 something. Okay, starts at 20. Let's just delete them and look at the bodies. Yep, delete them. We still have more than enough body left. Oh. Now we have a missing. Number four. Okay, this is supposed to be attached to your upper body. Let's just attach it. Like I'm looking at the words here, you know, two underscore two, and selecting two underscore two so they match. Good. There is still a few overlap. Twenty-four and twenty-six. Twenty-four and twenty-six. Well, whatever. We can leave it. So now that's good. We can save this body. So save as. And desktop, go to one, B body. Good. And now we have to copy a texture over. So for this folder, everything is in text. So I just copy text and sphere, move it over. And now we should be able to do the final step, stitching them together.